Hey y'all, why this shit ain't strong? I want it to be like. <laughs> I want it to be thick and strong. Thick. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all know it's early as hell, so I'm not trying to seem draggy, but baby, I'm draggy. Pretty and true feeling God and simple faith is very manifest. This message is for cancer the old cut. Message is for cancer the old I can hear a divine intervention in my head. And you know what I did? I took a stroll and um, was looking at the energy of the readings. So I haven't watched readings for real in a minute. Y'all know I'm going to watch Tyler. I don't give a lie. I'm watching Tyler or Blue Rose. But um, I haven't really been. Yeah, I haven't been there. But I was looking at the... Um, The titles, and it's like everybody talking about the same thing. And it's like everybody else. And people want to say, that's the energy right now. Everybody else is not the energy. How is everybody else your energy? Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't saying people can't be playing in your face. Nah, I never said that. I'm saying, look, there you go right there. I'm saying everything can't be about everybody else. At some point, you have to... Oh, yeah, there's somebody got a heart on for you. Bad. Bad. Let's see what this about to flip over to be. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, they, they, they want to bust down Tatiana. <laughs> but it's like... You know, at some point, this has to be about... Cups or Cancer. Or just Leo. It can't just be everybody else's issue. So we about to find out what's Cancer Leo Cups issue. What is Cancer Leo Cups issue? Because you need to know what's blocking you. You can't always make it about, oh, they're going to doing a spell on me. Or, or, or they're trying to block me. Or he wants me and can't have me. Or the third party, the karmic. Y'all got to stop. Like you do no wrongdoing. You got to stop. It said, a green man, all that I desire comes to me easily and effortlessly. I know this to be true, for I am abundant in all that I do. Who is this green man? Now, this is a rich ninja eight figure. This is an eight figure rich nigga, ninja. Did you know that? I bet you don't believe it. This is somebody who get it, got it out the mud. It's not, I'm sticking here on somebody getting it out the mud and they've been raised in Bloomfield Hills. Everything the green man touches turns to gold or rather green. That's his. He is the ultimate expression of abundance and more specifically an abundance mindset. When a green man invites you to his earthly liar, it is to infuse you with the spirit of wealth. Come on now, that's all we need to hear, right? What else is going on with Cancer Leo Cups? Boundaries. Okay, boundaries are sewing into the parts of who you are for they are not to be crossed. And that's on period. Look at it. That's, you know what I keep hearing with that? Run upon me. Run upon me, motherfucker. I'm ready. And this is like a symbolic energy. Ooh, look at her little outfit, girl. One leg out, one leg out. This is like her, she, she playing in her own space, right? See when some, so, so her boundaries is being stand on, don't cross them. Or she going to send that ball of you, actually. Oh, y'all, let me tell you this. The other night somebody hurt a dog. You heard, you knew you could Feel the dog pain. What's happening? Oh, hold on, hold on. Yo. Oh my God, I just was talking about breaking up fights. And Zena and them niggas down the street, them little ass puppies down the street, or puppies, dogs, whatever the fuck they is down. 
Girl, I told that lady, like, I'm not responsible. Because I can't break her up. Like, sorry, Shaka, you'll be able to stick a, a stick, and he'll stand down a little bit, unless it's just... It's up with this dude. Like, I done told this dude for the last time. Don't come over here. That's how it was with Shaka. Uh, Divine, she like, I'm out. I don't argue. Uh, Medusa, she only clapped on one chick, and that was the mistress. And then she 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 went and got her lit back. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, Shaka was messed up ever since. Ever since... Uh, Medusa got her lit back and had them kids by that other man. I think Shaka learned his lesson because I've never seen another woman over here. Long after she was gone, I've never seen another woman. And it seemed like he forever missed her. Uh, Thunder came running towards the door at the end, but it was in that real one. She went on and hopped on top of the uh, gate. <laughs> She went on and hopped on top of the gate. That shit was funny. Okay. She protected. And I told y'all I jump in fights. Then he gonna come over there barking at me. I was like, I ain't do nothing to you. I ain't do nothing. So the little boy come out here looking at me like, boy, I will fight you too and your grandmama. Nigga, I told your grandma when I first moved over here, she is not a normal cat. So if she tagged that little mech poodle, that's on him. It's called surrender. I mean, it says surrender. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go, of settling yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. Ain't nothing, more, ain't nothing like it. Lord knows, it's nothing like it. How much you want to bet? It ain't nothing like it. And that's all your energy is right now. So this is what y'all need to do. You have, need to have a green man. You got to know everything you touch will be abundant. What is a maypole? Look, maypole. Please take these oracles and look them up. What they mean in everything. They, they, they mean a lot. And that's our energy for a minute here, lady. The, 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 the energy is boundaries, boundaries, boundaries and surrendering. It's this green man. It's like the king of pentacles to me. He's been heavy in your energy for a while, too. And move in silent. Just stick to yourself. And you know what I told you. Close your damn mouth. Okay? Just like close your legs and marry me and close your mouth. So it's this one chick. She had posted something. I don't know. Um, and I'm going AWOL July 1st. Just to let y'all know. I'm not about to be on no social platform. I'm going to come talk to y'all. And I'm out. But, uh... Y'all, she says something. Oh, she was like, why is side chicks glorifying being side chicks now? And I, I'm telling you, the comments is not what I was looking for. I thought, you know, the Bible thump thumpers was going to be there, baby. No. No. The women had something to say. And what they had to say wasn't on the side of the... The, the woman that was married. I feel like the concept of marriage has been so diluted and polluted and uh, a, a, a superior. It's like have enslaved women to the point women not even interested. Because really taking on an extra child is really the role, has been the role of the man for a while. I'm not about to just say now. And I mean a while. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to go back to slavery, okay? When the clear men had those women, uh, their wives as slaves. That's birthed the feminist movement years later. That that was orchestrated by clear women, not us. We just jumped, a melanated woman jumped on a bandwagon because we some em empathetic, sympathetic, by default people. That's who we are. We naturally want to heal and help and protect and give. We naturally want to do that. But in all actuality, it doesn't happen. You want to know why? Because the people that come in and, and um, who victimize themselves turns around, manipulate it, and use it against us. Child, let's go.
And now we're realizing that. Man, we don't need you. We don't need you. You infiltrate us and then you manipulate us and then you take over us. Same way what, what dominated the black race anyway, the manipulation control. A clear woman. I see what I see. They always want to say, uh huh, what about a man came in and did this to a woman? No. That's the last thing. A woman is not easily caught up on sex. You don't easily get a Krishan. You don't. We're not over, we're not willed by sex. Oh, we'll put you down now. Nah, don't, don't get it twisted. But we more so make, if we're going to do that and get live and wild, it has to come with something. It's just like in a while when a girl sit on the porch like, ah, who's going to win this fight? Oh, he beat up all three of the cats. He can get it. I'm going to have his kids. It's like that in real life now, but they sit up there and say, oh, females want his money. Oh, what, what's this quote going on now? Why is the man supposed to work his whole life away for a woman, that, a, a broke, broke woman or something like that? I ain't going to lie. I told him, take that up with your Bible, okay? Because that's what that, your Bible tells you to do. Okay, so now y'all finally are rebelling against your Bible, right? Period. We are the prize. Never, it said when you find us, you find a good thing. It never said if we find y'all. It don't say nothing about when we find y'all. We just said, I just know what it say. When y'all find us, you this is what you're supposed to do. Number one, you gotta uh cover the tab for my whole entire family. Everything it would cost if I was there. What's happening, man? What's happening? This is a chaotic morning. It ain't even trash day. I woke up to uh, Thunder attacking Priscilla. And he's the first person since we've been here. Cyrus got caged for two minutes. But Thunder got caged for that. Because he did not stop to the point. I woke up out my sleep trying to gather myself to come downstairs and everybody know how I am by my dog on cats. I'm jump, I'm jumping in. Wait. That little boy gonna come out here and look at me. I don't care, boy. Get this mutt before I kick it. Because if it crossed me, because I stood in between Zena and the dog. Zena was up there and I stood here and the dog was right here and started barking at me. I'm like, I didn't do nothing to you. Okay. Carry your ass on to the little boy right there. He ain't even, he ain't doing nothing to get the dog to come to him. He just standing there looking at me, like mesmerized about me. I don't even know where the little boy came from, honestly. I never seen him. My little kids, they already know how I am. <laughs> I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I really like these kids. I would like to see them go to prom and everything because they're so cute. Because one dude, he begged me and begged me to cut my grass, right? Let him cut the grass. I come home from work. The next day, because he cut it late. I come home from work the next day. He had told, no, I come home. I get in the bed. I told him, I'm going to be out. I don't give a damn, bro. What's going on? I've been driving all day, seem like. So my daughter out there with her dude, my son. I don't know. <laughs> but they like, um, where the money at for the the boy? I was like, it's on the table. They was like, no, you said it's on the table. I ain't no money on the table. I'm like, I don't know. Somebody get my purse. I don't care. Y'all fit it. Oh. It calls my dog. I'm just tired. <laughs> oh, you ever just been tired? <laughs> I was so tired. I didn't even take a shower. I just was, let me alone. Y'all come in here and talk about this little boy. I'll come back at 9 o'clock for the money. So, my son said he going to be back in, in the morning. He might not go to school. He right. He said might. And um, blah, 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 this way. Hi, Priscilla. So next thing I know, hey girl, she living her best life. Oh, long story short, he comes back home from school and everything because I come home from work and he ain't cleaned up my house. I mean, my grass and I'm in my room, whatever the heck it may be, because I'm looking out the window and I see him walking by with his friends, him eating him some chips. So I go, throw my clothes on and go down there. He go, nosy daughter, nosy daughter, got to see mama go off. She loves it for some reason. She up there like, ooh, yeah, get him, mama. <laughs> I'm like, you, come here, little boy. Ishmael, his name is Ishmael, Isaiah, Ishmael, something with an I, one of them. So I'm like, come here. 
I was like, you gotta cut my grass. He was like, yeah, I was gonna do that when I finished the game. I'm like, no, you gonna do it now. You got my money. You gonna do it now. And he was like, okay. I was like, I thought you was doing it in the morning. He was like, yeah, I said if I had to go to school. I was like, well, it's money before, it's work before play. I know your grandma didn't taught you that because I always see him with his grandma. I know your grandma didn't taught you that. He gonna put his head down. He's like, yes. I was like, get me over with and you can go do whatever you want to do. You just gonna leave me hanging like that? He was like, no, nah, I got you, I got you, I got you. And then I was like, because when he was walking by, I seen him eating a bag of chips. Then I see the chip on the floor. I'm like, I'm going to pick that mess up. The fuck? So, look, I had to end something with somebody else again, y'all. Somebody new. I think we went on three days. I had to end it. Because you want to know why? He won't stop littering. And um, I don't get it. And, and then, you know, when you tell somebody, well, give it to me then. And they still choose to, like, throw it down in your face. Like, a straight disrespect. Like, fuck what you talking about. Uh, okay, this how the relationship gonna go. I'll holler. That's what I'm talking about. Block! I need to be on them doggone channels. When they look up people block lists. Like, who is all these people? Everybody that had me fucked up. Anyway, what's the more energy? <laughs> yes, me okay. Grief is in reverse, though. But it's grief here. Okay, look. Stop playing with me. Tell me about grief. The awakening is here again, y'all. That manifestation. Shame. Oh, hold on now. Oh, this the chick I said was holding her nipples. No. She in formation, baby. Look at her. Okay, ladies. Let's now get in formation. Okay, come on, girl. Where you at? Yeah. We got grief here. <laughs> grief, awakening, and manifestations. What you grieving about, honey? What's the grieving about, y'all? And somebody is giving birth, somebody's having to wake and something is coming in. And I know, trust me, I know. It seems like whatever is coming towards us is taking forever. But listen, you have to understand that it was some form of spell work at play here. It was. It was. In your downtime, your sad time, when you was um down bad and basic yourself. Now, now don't come for me. When you was down bad and basic, it was occurring because of something. Some of y'all was clearing out karma. Some of y'all was on a, getting attacked, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever it may have been, okay? You was down bad and basic. I mean, damn, you were under an attack. But with the Ace of Wands being in reverse, remember we had a period of the Ace of Wands being in reverse. It was blocked with stagnation with the hangman hey block blockages and stagnation was going on a lot here with you so then that was because of what you was clearing out karma and it was spell work at play keeping you stuck okay now it has been reversed now all of your abundance is coming in but this is what you got to know is it's coming back it's coming in little by little by little by little because when things are reversed see it took a, a instant impact upon you right and it just like was sucking you. It felt it felt like you had got attached to some type of succubus energy. Some of y'all probably went to a spiritual um, business, and that business little did you know was on the decline. So you coming in there buying whatever you bought, they attached something to it. It could have been you receiving something from somebody, but it was something attached to it. Trust and believe when you receive. Well, I know y'all heard this before. When you receive a gift, be careful. Because remember I told y'all it was a while ago. You got to get something out of your house. There's something in your house that somebody gave you that keeps you stagnant and you don't even know it. You, you, And it's probably something you only want to let go of. Because me, it was jury. I found out it was a piece of jury. And I'm like, I never thought in a million years it was jury. Because I'm like, what the hell? Hell, fuck it. Might as well make some money off of it. Pond it. Didn't you get in trouble already, Thunder? You being hard-headed. Leave her alone. But I got to respect Thunder. Thunder! Come on, Priscilla. I'm going to be, I'm going to fuck him up. 
when his mom was out there screaming, he ran out there. Come on, Priscilla. Come on, girl. He know what's up. Uh-uh, because when, when Cyrus beating him up, I'm not saving him no more. I see why he being a tyrant all over the city. Look. If he messing with the baby, he really got to go. Princess! Princess! I think he mad. His mama been real neglectful towards him. Ooh, judgment. This is everything. It's returned back to you. So like I told you, it's a process of everything coming back to you. Your tears. See how your grief is overflowing the well. The ocean. And all your manifestations is coming to you. You got to believe. That's that nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck that somebody sent. That was down there. Somebody was obsessing over your doggone ass. They're just like, oh, this is a cold piece. I'm not about to deal with this cat. He need a toy. He need a dog. That's a thunder need a dog. He like one of them. Tw Did y'all see that? I got to know what it was. The four swords in reverse. He, it's like he, um, he them adolescents. Adolescents, whatever you call them kids. Look at this right here. Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. Baby, shut up. Ace of Pentacles with Queen of Cups and that really judgment. And not only that, this is a boundary set. You setting a doggone boundary when it comes to certain things. What's going on with this energy for Cancer Leo Cups? You have to believe this in you. See, fulfilled. This is fulfillment. Beyond. This is something you wish for and you got and you are content. But I'm going to tell you stuff. People don't like you being content like this. And it ain't that people don't like you being content like that. Uh, the opposite sex is what I'm hearing here. It's not happy with you being content like this. But what they don't know is you are in pursuit of someone that genuinely give a damn about you. I don't care if he hit it the first motherfucking night. You can tell the day, he, the way he treats you thereafter. He wasn't never looking for you. It's just a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. But a good looking out, but wham, bam, thank you, man. He's not one of them men that look at, oh, she gave it to me on the first night. She's a, he, she's a slut. She's a hoe. She's a freak. No, he, he, he's not looking at you like that. Because that's the, st I have got to the point now, that's the dumbest analogy I've heard of. Make him wait 90 days. He'll have self-respect for you. Motherfuckers don't got self-respect for the bitch they marry. What the hell they gonna give a damn if I sell on their face the first day or not? Like the fuck? What else going on here? What's this energy like? At source. Magician. Magician. Where is this book at? I done put up half of my bookshelf. In reverse. Hey, he came out three days in a row and 10 stores in a row. I'm sick of him, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Look at this nigga. Like, what the fuck this nigga want? This king of cups? What is this? She got him back. I told you Priscilla got him back. He just blew his nose like a lion. Like, <laughs> When Priscilla with the shits, oh, she an eater. Go on TikTok. When she with the shits, when she on some chill, she ain't got time. But when she with the shits, oh, she eating. What did this King of Cups do? King of Cups in reverse do? I don't, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Either he's recovering from a betrayal or you're recovering from a betrayal. What, like, what was the... What happened with the King of Cups in reverse? Oh, there you go. I feel like this could have been a Scorpio for some reason. This could be somebody who came over and tried to nitpick you, antagonize you, and tell you 
Ooh, you got this. You need to do this. This, 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 this is fucked up. This needs to be better. This, 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 this. That's what it is. And he betrayed you. This is the type of person that be like, you the one mad. I'm good over here at they doing something to you. I don't know. I don't like his energy. Oh, there you go right there. Fox. He's a sneaky little heifer. That's what's happening here. Oh, shoot. He's a fox. Hey, y'all. I still ain't found no black candles. Like, who is running around here buying all the black candles? You know what? It might be how they did the birds. How they tried to get rid of the pigeons so they stick them hawks out there, baby. It was hawks or whatever the thing was. They was everywhere on the side of the road in the middle of the street. Last summer, they was everywhere eating everything. They was eating our cats. They was eating our dogs. They was eating um the birds. They was eating the, the, the squirrels. They was eating everything. They didn't think when they sent them out, who the heck was they going to get to kill them? Priscilla, go back and play with them. I'm not playing with you after that. And, oh, oh, she not playing. Oh, oh, this is serious. She, she got him. Get her, get her, get her, get him. Get his butt, Priscilla. Look, she got his arm twisted up like this. Get him, Priscilla. But see, that's what he get. Priscilla was down to sleep. <laughs> She ought to do some bull bullshit around. That nigga played rigid ass game. He was really a fox. He was using you, playing you, manipulating you, getting whatever he can get, breadcrumbing you to get whatever the heck he can get to go back and give it to whoever he was going to give it to. He had no genuine identity in his life with himself. He didn't know what he wanted, who he wanted. This is someone who want to uh, critique the hell out of somebody. Where the book just go? They'd be like, uh, listen here, you need to get a better pedicure than that, but I ain't paying for shit. Or you need to answer the phone when I call you, but I ain't paying for shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing nothing. This is someone who does not contribute to your life at all because all they do is take what they need to take and go head out to whoever they needed to head out to. They play emotional, emotional manipulative games. That's what they did. They play games. They was childish, juvenile, ignorant, stupid, crazy. That's what my daddy used to say. Don't bring no any stupid, crazy nigga to my house. And I'm like, Lord, I'm mercy. But the crazy part is, I got older and started saying the exact same thing my daddy was up there saying. My daddy used to always say, shut up that hunky voodoo from um the stand. Y'all ever watch that? Now listen, it's six hours long. Well, baby, the message is what you need. Like Storm of the Century. The message is what you need. All Stephen King. But that one little part we thought was funny, it meant something to my dad. And then when I got older, I was like, oh, my God. He knew exactly what he was talking about when that dude said, shut up that hunky voodoo. When he started talking about, the Lord our Savior is going to do this. That nigga took that damn thing, boop, and told him to shut up that hunky voodoo. <laughs> hunky voodoo, y'all. Y'all hear that bird? Oh, okay, so I found out about the bat. The bat brings abundance and protection and a warning. Something could be in the midst of. Spell work could be at play. Another thing on the 3D end of it, it could be, it can mean uh, somebody's house is infested with something, bugs or something. Some of or a, a, a bat is going to, is about to have kids and they're looking at your house to have kids. So the other morning, my daughter got up like she normally do and my kitchen floor was filled with flying ants. I don't know what that means. I don't know where that came from because after we cleaned them all up, I never seen it again. But I don't understand what happened. I never experienced that in my life. Me and my sister was going back and forth about what the hell. And the bats began to play, right? And then next thing you know, it's like, 
was they warning us warning us like what is happening here is something really at play here and i really need you to uh to take take an initiative to pay attention to this to get more understanding of every little thing that's going on in your house around your house this could be a message sent to me to get to y'all i don't know because i really just don't know what's happening unless they're trying to tell me to take a nap i don't know Rigid games is manipulation and or intervening from a close friend or family member, usually a female, to cause a breakup in a relationship. A jealous person who lies and causes drama. Either, either this King of Cups was manipulated or betrayed or you the King of Cups that was manipulated or betrayed by someone. Who lies and causes drama and chaos and all types of shit. Like, and, and this person is probably having an a intervention from a female for the games that they play. This could be a female calling them out on their bullcrap. You could be the female that calls someone out on their bullcrap. You know how some people be like, um, oh, he listened to me. He won't, li he listened to you, but he won't listen to me. It's not, what are you talking about? Everybody had that respective woman that, I don't know about everybody, but a lot of males had that respective woman that they listened to. If, especially if they're not married, they had that. Like my friend, he'd come to me like, tell me what you think. I went out on with this girl and she this, this, and that, and that, and I go to him the same. And that's why he'd be like, why would that dude do that? He don't know you. I'm like, nope, not paying out a lick of attention to me. So tell me, why is these rigid games being played? This is someone who be playing victim at a source trying to say that's what you were doing. I don't think this is someone, this is why they're manipulative because they sit up there and said, because you said, uh, uh, anything. I don't know. This is someone who will sit up there and invite you out on a date then turn around and say, they ain't take you on a date because you didn't say, uh, yes, daddy. Yes. I want to go with you. You'd be like, yeah. Okay. Let me know. The fuck you want me to sit up there and do backwards flips? Maybe you taking me or not. I don't think this person ever was fucking genuine because they never was genuine with themselves. They're cold as ice. Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. Why the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse? And you know why it's in reverse? It didn't work. They couldn't manipulate you they couldn't play you they couldn't play this victim role towards you they couldn't stop your blessing stop your growth stop your well-being all they could do is stagnate you keep you stuck hinder you for a little while until you figure it out like what potion or what spell you need to do to protect yourself or to break yourself i mean break this that's what happened and then when it happened it got reversed and when it reversed Slowly but surely, things start happening in their life. Four swords and four cups. Four swords mm -hmm, and four cups in reverse. Now they see you as missed opportunity. So, baby, it be noises going on around here. It be stories. Or you see someone as a uh, as a uh, missed opportunity. This can go either way. You could have been dealing with another water sign, and they see you as a missed opportunity. This is someone that's uh, going through something, and you're feeling their energy. Something that's not working for you. Page of Cups. Something that's very childish and immature. Four sources here. You need to meditate on something. You need to rest. You need to understand. You need to just let it. Let go and let God. That's what they say. And then the four of cups. Missed opportunities is coming up everywhere. They are. They coming. Same about the four of cups in reverse. The two of swords is in reverse. Indecision. This is somebody that was very much so indecisive about which way to go. And now they sitting up here thinking about it. This is someone who like, I can go over here and be with this girl. She want me. And, and, and this is someone who talks to you about the dirty things they done done to females. And they thought that was going to make you feel good. You know what I'm saying? How they played this chick. How they lied to this chick and skirted on her six of swords. But no, you wound up getting the fuck on. Like, boy, I ain't got time for that. Just like what I said up there and said the story. Was uh, 
The dude littering. Fuck you talking about. And threw the shit on the doggone floor. Ah, I got my own car. You have a nice day. Bop. <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't got time for that. It's not a sense of control. It's just, that's not even a pet peeve of mine. That's more so of a deer breaker. Because how do you, I don't understand someone that walked past the trash and choose to throw it on the floor. And then, do you know what this heifer told me? They got people that clean that up. Now, at Walmart, I can see it. Like, when I let, let a shirt fall, I used to tell that to my kids. Like, stop it. People got to clean this up. They ain't going to have nothing to do. But I, the littering, I don't know. It didn't got to me bad, y'all. It's like a deal breaker to me. Ooh, who is Big Daddy? <laughs> Big Daddy. Who is Big Daddy? The King of Pentacles. Big Daddy. Come on, Big Daddy. This could be a new job, new opportunity. Yeah, this could be a Big Daddy. Who is this King of Pentacles, Spirit and Ancestors? Oh, this the truth. Baby, he's the truth. Oh, the child gets me. Oh, this is big. Didn't I say it was Big Daddy? Who is that one? Who is that clear man? Okay, we're going to call him Light Skin Diddy. Okay, we're going to call him Light Skin Diddy. That's Big Daddy, y'all. <laughs> Look at Big Daddy. Some people could look at you as being emotionally blocked right now. I feel like your emotions don't take precedence over what it used to take precedence over new. You used to be like, oh, pie pie. You used to fall head over heels real, real fast. Now you like, slow down. Hey, because I can't take the heat. Slow down. And I'm like, I can't either. Walk me through this. Walk me through this again. Tell me a little bit about your childhood. Where your mama, where your daddy, where your sisters. Who you still talk to, who you don't. That's it. And I feel like this person is going to be very truthful towards you. Blunt, direct. He's gonna be, this, this is a serious part. Tell me about him. Tell me about the king of pentacles. I feel like, and then if this king of cups is you, you're recovering from betrayal. Like I said, but I still feel like in another situation... Oh, a karmic lesson, judgment. Oh, you didn't learn the lesson, baby. So you received this person after it's oh. Beginners, journeys, and first step, happy endings, joys, and resolution. Ooh, I like him, y'all. Uh, yeah, you could be recovering from all of the betrayal, the lies, and the games that people have played in the past. You could have went towards this King of Pentacles and stopped playing with him. You could have been the one full of shit. Oh, yeah, that's what this reading about. You've been full of shit. But I think, I think you was like in this energy because of everything that you had went through. Ten of swords in retreat. I mean, ten of swords in reverse. You, had, you keep reading, meeting donuts. It's like it's just a, 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 a whole person with a hole in the middle. And I feel like this King of Pentacles, with his honesty, his truth, his clarity, his uh, peace that he gives you, it's going to open up a new new world for you emotionally. But right now, I feel like they're going to take their time with you. I, I feel like they're going to be very truthful. It could be a Virgo. Y'all could pretty be pretty much... Look, I told you he can really much so date you. Like seriously, be there for you. Don't put too much on him at one time, okay? Don't 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 over, overwhelm the man. There's some hidden bad news that's taking place with this magician that's coming in. Five of Cups in reverse. Somebody is regretting something. The King of Wands in reverse. I think you block. I feel like you block this this King of Wands in reverse. Well, fuck them. An emperor. King of Wands in reverse with the emperor in reverse and the lovers. Oh, they down low, down low. Okay, whatever. What is this king of, this ace of swords energy here for Cancer Leo Cups with the king of pentacles? That's your judgment. Seven of Cups. Tell me about this ace of swords for Cancer Leo Cups. 
The two of coins in reverse. Busy. This is a very, very busy man. But you, you want to know how you going to learn the difference between a man that's busy. Okay, because you know how people be like, you want a good man, you're going to have to take a busy man. And it's no, you do not. You're going to be shocked how this person is going to be like, bring your ass over here, girl. Or let's go do this. Or where you at? And this, this, and that, and that. You're going to see how much somebody who, who wants something, who wants you, going to open up the door for you. They don't give a damn. Up, oh, gotta go, baby girl. Says she off the day and we can hang out. See you later, dude. That, that, that that's this kind of. That's how I feel. Like they work, they busy, they juggling stuff. And then they, the stuff they probably juggling is simple. They probably work and take care of their mama, child. Give them to me, baby, because I'll be over there with mama too, getting drunk. Say no. Nah. <laughs> but y'all know them old, them older women love to pop bottles, baby. Get out of here. Over there with my best friend and her best friend mama and her home girl. We sitting down at the dog on table and I pulled up with the bottle. They like, oh, what's this? I'm like, girl, we gotta get the good china, child. Let's get the good china. We up here. This she up there. Um, come here. Put me another one. <laughs> Put me another. This is good. What is this? Prosecco. But I, I don't drink no liquor or nothing for real. I'll take a shot for the homies. But I drink champagne. Tell me about this karmic lesson for cancer, Leo Cups. And tell me about this judgment for cancer, Leo Cups. <sighs> Look, oh. This nine of swords in reverse is kind of weird to me. Because this is far as the front of the place of grief. That's why grief could have possibly been in reverse. Because I feel like both of you are... See, this is you, the green man, in your doggone life, right? This green man could possibly be recovering from some type of grief, but you all don't realize you both are recovering from some type of grief, Right? And I feel like, come on, girl. No princess don't like being alone too long. Thank you, Priscilla. Go get her. These boundaries. I feel like this person could like your boundaries. This is like somebody saying, uh, randomly popping up at 9 o'clock saying, come on over here, right? And you like, boy, I just got off work. Good night. See you tomorrow. Let me know what you're doing tomorrow. <laughs> and he 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 laugh about it. Cause he like, ooh, he like it. Or or every turn. I mean, you there, you present, you but you're making him comfortable enough to let him know that you have shit going on in your life. I don't jump at your wheel. Like I have responsibilities, obligations, and boundaries and standards, but I'm here. But I got shit going on too. So either you gonna plan or you can get the, you, you gonna catch me if you can. Y'all know I love that. Let me see what this Knight of Swords is about. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Cause I'm gonna tell y'all, ladies, for real, men like it. They do like it. They love to sit up there and say, for you to sit up there and say, well, tell them what to do. A man. These these cocky do the do's you tell them no, on to the next. Why is it not a swords in reverse? Tell me about the Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody's stalking him. What did I say about a pinnacle six of coins? Yeah. Yeah. They want equal, they want an equal connection, and they see that with you. What is this? The six of cups. Yeah, they're moving on from the past. That Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that's mad. That he he had to grieve that connection, that relationship, or whatever he had going on. What is this three of swords? Oh, he is a vicious little thing. I'm, I'm going to fight you, Thunder. Eight of Cups. Either somebody walked away from him or he walked away from somebody. Why did they walk away, Spirit and Ancestors? And this is this had to happen. This is divinely orchestrated by the, I said by the union, by the uh, Ancestors for you two to meet. Hi. 
Hey, Cyrus, nobody seen your big ass. Oh, Thunder, Thunder. Oh, he trying. He bowed down real quick. He got the head. Oh, no, he ain't. He put his back up at Cyrus. What's going on? I don't know if he want to try Cyrus. He did that one time. And he had to rethink his life after that. Because Cyrus ain't had to do much. Tell me about this King of Cups. Baby, shut up. Shut the... Shut the hell up. I feel like this King of Pentacles walked away and chose him. And tell us more about this King of Cups in reverse. I feel like he did. He chose him. Tell me about this uh, King of Cups in reverse. Four coins and he kept it to himself. I feel like he realized his worth. You know, some men... Coins in reverse. What's happening? Wait, what's going on here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was just about to say this. The three of coins. This motherfucker, this, this king of pentacles was cheated on. I've been bamboozled. You want to know what happened? This king of cups was the third party to this marriage. This union, this relationship. It might not have been a solidified, but it was most definitely a relationship. And the King of Coins, the King of Cups came in and played games with this Queen of Coins to the point that she lost her marriage. She lost her union. Didn't I tell y'all the story about this King of Cups? This was somebody that had come in and played little manipulative games. He was playing them on this Queen of Coins. Now she fucked around and found out this person ain't talking about shit. But meanwhile, back at the lake, the King of Pentacles has walked away. And he, he went back dating. Mm -hmm. And look who he found. An Ace of Pentacles. Who is the Ace of Pentacles? That's the Ace of Pentacles. Did you? Who is this Ace of Pentacles energy? Spirit and Ancestors. Changing places. The Seven of Pentacles is in reverse and the Page of Swords. It's somebody he's been thinking about communicating with, corresponding to. Somebody I feel like you didn't get a chance to invest in. Some Something you feel like is a waste of time. Something is about to be communicated to you, this King of Pentacles, unless this King of Pentacles is you now. You have entered into the stage of the King of Pentacles and your manifestations is coming in because you have spoke your truth. I feel all types of stuff with this. I'm not going to lie. I feel so much with this. It needed to be consolidated. It needed to be minimized. It just seemed like, like you went from lack to greatness just off of clarity, just off the cr truth. And, and, and the King of Pentacles is somebody that's going to stand his grounds because he knows his truth. He's not worried. This King of Coins, this King of Cups in reverse could have been who you used to be. A lot of y'all could be in masculine energy right now. Some of y'all could be feeling defeated. Some of y'all could be feeling lost. I don't know what's happening here. But this King of, this recovery of this Three of Swords energy and you walking away from heartache, pain, anguish, betrayal, lies, deceit, and somebody playing these rigid ass fucking games on your ass, it's leading you, has led you into this Ace of Pentacles, has brought both of you together into an Ace of Pentacles. Give me some career messages out here for Cancer Leo Cubs. Career and finances. Thank you, everybody, for coming to my page. Influence. It's a use your influence for change. Oh, my God. Come on now. You may do public speaking, social videos, or interviews. Your voice and opinions are important. I'm telling you, y'all about to blow a whistle. Then I tell y'all, the mother and the father, stand on your shit. Stand on your shit. Keep going. I don't care if you have to call somebody every day. Call them. Call them. Magic. Come on. When have we ever had these cards? You have the power now. Use your mag magic to attract what you want into your life. The sky is the limit. Come on. Give me another career in finances for Cancer Leo Cubs. Adventure. 
You make exciting work moves that could take you outdoors or on a trip. You will need to climb steadily to reach your financial goal. Listen to this. Listen to who I met yesterday. Gestures in relationship. I met a probation officer who plays tag football. Baby, she was gorgeous, okay? Because everybody was like, wow, you do what? I met, uh, I don't know what the one dude was. He was a football coach who had a gambling problem. He said he he had he's like sports gambling addicted. And I'm like, okay, 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 I feel you, I feel you. And he said he wanted to get rid of it. I wasn't at no, I was at a, um, I don't know what that thing was. What they, what the, what's some thing they have? Conventions and stuff like that, right? And then the other dude, I forgot what the people main job was, but everybody had a, a alternative thing that they did. Then the youngest person there was HR over, I think, like four states at the airport. And I was like, oh, I'm in here with some gold, right? I'm in here with gold. So I'm like, okay, period. Stand up, y'all. Stand up for yourself. Don't allow nobody to run over you. If you got to do a, a Reese's Tisses thing on TikTok, go for it. I think I'm going to do me one. Do it. The sky's the limit. That's when you're going to go viral. That's when you're going to hit it big. But you got to overcome your fear. I say.